despite those hotly contested races leading into the general election, the turnout was low. In fact, historically so. KITV first Kenny Choi joining us with a closer look at the numbers tonight. Kenny. Yunji, roughly half of Hawaii's registered voters showed up to vote yesterday. It was the worst general election turnout in the history of the state and a downward trend that can't seem to be explained by pundits or even voters themselves. No excuse. I even had the day off. I wasn't really aware of that there was an election, that's why. We didn't Did know enough about the elector candidates and stuff like that to really put a say in it. A little over half of the 700,000 registered voters cast ballots on Tuesday, the lowest percentage recorded since statehood in 1959 when turnout was more than 90 percent. It's been a kind of tradition in Hawaii for a long time. I didn't vote last night because I didn't feel well educated enough on any of the uh, candidates. To be exact, 52.3 percent cast ballots this year, just shy of the second lowest turnout in 2006 when 52.7 percent voted, a stark contrast to when turnout was in the 70s and 80s all the way until the early 1990s. I want change. You know, the economy is, cost of living here is so crazy, you know, so that's why I decided to vote. Political analyst Neil Milner believes the absence of same day registration and a one party system dominated by Democrats are partly to blame. It's places that have competitive elections, where it's close and there are two parties fighting and it's a close battle, tend to have higher turnout. While Republicans entered the general election with a stronger chance this year, there's still a lack of competitive consistency, according to Milner. When they are competitive, they tend to be episodic. It's not a tradition of them every time. And since voting is a habit, we fall out of the habit of, of, of doing it. I just graduated from high school, so I did not pay attention at all to it. Now, starting in 2016, the state will implement same day registration, which Milner believes will lead to a bump in turnout. He also believes that the trend of casting absentee ballots will continue. Now, yesterday marked the first time that absentee outnumbered ballots cast at the polls.